Every sci-fi blockbuster often features an incredible stealth fighter that seems too advanced to be real. In reality, the YF-23 Black Widow 2 was just that, a plane so advanced it felt like it had come straight from a futuristic movie set. Despite its groundbreaking design and performance, the YF-23 quietly disappeared, leaving many to wonder about its true potential. To understand the story of the YF-23, we need to go back to the 1980s. During this time, the Cold War was at its peak, and the United States was determined to maintain air superiority over its adversaries. The U.S. Air Force realized the need for a new generation of fighter jets that combined unmatched stealth, speed, and agility. This need led to the creation of the Advanced Tactical Fighter, ATF, program. The ATF program aimed to develop a fighter jet to replace the aging fleet of F-15 Eagles and F-16 Fighting Falcons. The requirements were ambitious, the aircraft had to be nearly invisible to enemy radar, achieve sustained supersonic flight without afterburners, super crews, and have exceptional maneuverability. Two major aerospace companies accepted the challenge, Northrop, with their YF-23 Black Widow II, and Lockheed, with their YF-22, which would later become the F-22 Raptor. Both contenders were ready to showcase cutting-edge designs and technologies. Northrop's YF-23 was a marvel of engineering. It featured a sleek, diamond-shaped wing design and a blended body to minimize radar detection. Advanced engines powered the aircraft, allowing it to reach high speeds while maintaining stealth. Innovative materials and construction techniques reduced its weight and enhanced performance. In contrast, Lockheed's YF-22 had its unique features, such as thrust vectoring nozzles for superior maneuverability and a more traditional tail design. The stage was set for a head-to-head -head competition filled with technological innovation. Both companies worked relentlessly to meet the stringent requirements set by the Air Force. Extensive research, wind tunnel tests, and simulations refined their designs. Prototypes were built, and rigorous testing began to evaluate their performance in various scenarios. The YF-023 and YF-022 represented the pinnacle of aerospace technology in the late 20th century. The competition was fierce, and the stakes were high, the outcome would shape air combat for decades. The YF-023 focused heavily on stealth and high-speed performance. Its unique diamond-shaped wing configuration and blended body minimized radar detection, making it less visible to enemy systems. The use of advanced composite materials added to its stealth capabilities by absorbing radar signals and reducing weight. Powered by two Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines, the YF-23 demonstrated exceptional speed and maneuverability. It achieved super cruise, allowing it to fly at supersonic speeds without using afterburners, which increased fuel efficiency and reduced heat emissions, making it harder to detect. In terms of performance, the YF-23 could reach speeds of around Mach 2.2. Its aerodynamic design and advanced avionics provided superior situational awareness and stability at high speeds. Features such as forward-swept wings and canards contributed to its agility. Despite these impressive capabilities, the YF-023 faced challenges. One major drawback was its higher cost and complexity. The Air Force viewed Lockheed's YF-22 as a more practical option due to its more traditional design and proven technology. The YF-22's thrust vectoring and advanced avionics gave it greater agility, crucial for the aircraft's intended combat role. While the YF-23's advanced stealth features and innovative design were praised, the complexity and cost of its systems raised concerns. The Air Force considered long-term operational costs and overall risk, ultimately choosing the YF-22 as the winner of the competition. Though the YF-23 did not enter production, it remains a symbol of groundbreaking engineering and innovation. Its influence can still be seen in modern stealth aircraft designs, showcasing its lasting impact on aerospace technology. As the competition between advanced aircraft design concepts progressed, both the YF-23 and its competitor, the YF-22, underwent rigorous and extensive testing. These evaluations assessed their performance under a variety of challenging scenarios to determine which aircraft would best meet the demands of the United States Air Force's Advanced Tactical Fighter, ATF, program. 
the ultimate findings revealed that while the YF-23 excelled in areas such as stealth and speed, the YF-22's versatility, agility, and lower operational costs made it a more practical and appealing option for the Air Force. Key Testing and Performance Results The testing phase served as a comprehensive assessment of each aircraft's strengths and weaknesses. Both the YF-23 and YF-22 were closely matched in core specifications. They featured similar engine performance, each producing approximately 35,000 pounds of thrust and achieving top speeds around Mach 2.2. The combat operating ranges for both aircraft were also comparable. However, several key differences set them apart and influenced the decision-making process. Stealth and Aerodynamics the YF-23's design emphasized stealth and aerodynamic efficiency. Its lighter airframe allowed it to achieve a maximum range of up to 4,800 km, significantly exceeding the F-22's range of 3,200 km. The radar cross-section of the YF-23 was so minimal that it was nearly invisible to radar systems, akin to the stealth capability seen in the B-2 bomber. This superior stealth characteristic positioned the YF-23 as a standout performer for operations requiring low detectability. Speed and supercruise capabilities The YF-23 demonstrated remarkable speed and high-performance capabilities. One of its most notable features was its ability to supercruise, sustained supersonic flight without the need for afterburners, up to Mach 1.6. This capability would have been especially beneficial for beyond visual range, BVR, combat engagements, allowing for prolonged supersonic flight while maintaining stealth. With afterburners engaged, the YF-23 was capable of achieving a top speed of Mach 2.6, slightly surpassing the F-22's Mach 2.2. Mechanical Challenges and Testing Incidents Despite its impressive attributes, the YF-23 encountered several technical challenges during testing. On October 30, 1990, a critical incident occurred when the outer layer of the windshield on the YF-23 prototype known as Grey Ghost shattered during flight at Mach 1.5. Fortunately, the polycarbonate inner layer remained intact, allowing the aircraft to return safely to base. However, this incident raised concerns about the reliability of the aircraft's design. Similar windshield issues plagued the second YF-23 prototype, Spider. These failures posed a serious threat to the aircraft's stealth capabilities, as any breach in the specially designed windscreen could increase the radar cross-section. In addition to these issues, the YF-23 experienced mechanical failures. During one flight, a General Electric GE, engine malfunctioned and failed to accelerate properly, forcing the aircraft to make a single-engine landing. On another occasion, a plugged fuel line caused dangerous overpressurization of the fuel tanks. Thankfully, this problem was detected in time, and the aircraft was safely landed. While these technical problems were addressed through diligent maintenance efforts, they underscored the challenges Northrop faced in ensuring the YF-23's operational reliability. Pilot Feedback and Comparative Performance Test pilot Paul Metz, who flew both the YF-23 and the F-22, highlighted the YF-23's exceptional performance in high angle of attack scenarios. The aircraft could operate at trimmed angles of attack up to 60 degrees, demonstrating impressive stability and control. Metz noted that the YF-23 had the potential to outperform the F-22 in certain high angle of attack situations. However, the F-22's thrust vectoring technology provided it with superior agility, giving it a critical edge in dogfighting and other air combat scenarios. This advantage, coupled with the F-22's overall design philosophy emphasizing proven technologies, made it more favorable in the eyes of decision-makers. Significant Test Flights and Final Evaluations On November 29, 1990, the YF-023 and YF-22 participated in a rare joint flight over the Mojave Desert. Piloted by Metz and Lockheed pilot Dave Sandberg, this event marked the only time the two aircraft flew together. The following day, the first YF-23 prototype, Grey Ghost, was retired, and focus shifted to the second prototype, Spider. With program funding dwindling, testing efforts concentrated on evaluating Spider's supercruise capabilities, although the results were never publicly disclosed. 
On December 18, 1990, a final joint flight took place for a photo shoot featuring Lockheed's YF-22 prototype. Later that day, Ron Johnson piloted the YF-23 for its final two-hour test mission before both prototypes were grounded. Decision Factors and Program Conclusion Despite the YF-23's advanced features and potential, the Air Force ultimately selected the F-22 Raptor as its next-generation air superiority fighter. Several key factors influenced this decision. Technical challenges, the windscreen failures and engine malfunctions raised concerns about the reliability of the YF-23's design. Weapons bay integration, the absence of a demonstration-ready weapons bay in the YF-A23 may have contributed to doubts about its operational capabilities. Conventional design, the F-22's use of proven technologies and its more conventional design reduced the risks associated with its development and deployment. On April 23, 1991, the YF-23 program officially concluded, and the Air Force awarded Lockheed the contract to produce the F-22 Raptor. The decision was based on the F-22's proven performance, lower risk, and cost effectiveness. The Legacy of the YF-023 Although the YF-23 did not enter service, it remains an iconic aircraft celebrated for its groundbreaking design and technological advancements. Aviation enthusiasts and historians regard it as a significant milestone in the evolution of stealth technology and fighter aircraft development. The YF-23's influence on future aircraft designs is undeniable. Its near-invisible radar cross-section, advanced aerodynamic features, and stealth technology provided valuable lessons for subsequent generations of fighter aircraft. Both prototypes, Grey Ghost and Spider, are now preserved in museums, serving as historical artifacts that offer insight into a pivotal era of military aviation development. The YF-23 story exemplifies the challenges and triumphs of pushing the boundaries of technology. Its innovative design and performance capabilities continue to captivate the imagination, ensuring its lasting legacy in aviation history.